everyone welcome back to another counterside video in this video we're going to be discussing part two and part three of the shop for the summer event but before that if you wanted updated counterside videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so by this time i think you already have finished the summer event part one you've you've basically um purchased all of the items um only the gold should be remaining there but if you don't have um you, if you haven't had yet you still have time um this uh, the part two will be dropping on september 29th so you still have today and tomorrow to be able to finish it so let's take a, look, a bigger view at the rewards so okay so for part two the currency would be your dolphin so as as you notice, there are different, there are three currencies in the summer event. So next would be your dolphin. So the rubber ducky, you won't be able to use it here. So you should be able to spend it in the other store, the part one store. This one actually involves a wallpaper as well. This, the next one would be, I think, uh, APT cores, if I'm not mistaken. Then you have here shards for Liv Allen and this one is for Arya. So my preference here, if uh, you do, you haven't had <coughs> Liv Allen yet, you can actually build Liv Allen here. But these two are your kind of your secondary, your secondary um, objectives. Your primary objectives would be the fusion course below. So you have here, you must finish this the fusion course. Then you have um a regular employment contracts here um you should finish as well and you should have these for your skills i forgot what they're called and this one i forgot what they're called as well but you'll need this in your crafting so the four down here you will need badly for your for your crafting for your level ups and for your fusion once you've 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 finished this bottom bottom row then you go to the upper part so preferably you you finish off the apt course then you go next to these two so for me i'm going to go with arius because she's now at level 106 for me so i need to level her up to 110 and this is a great event to farm for her shards okay so let's go over to part three We'll discuss the rest later. So in part three, as you can see here, guys, there's another wallpaper. Then there's a big rubber ducky. I assume this big rubber ducky is going to be like the limousine that was previously in one event. So this is, I think, a ship type. Then you have here um, schematics for your ship as well. The special ones and the basic ones, which is actually a very, very rare um have to buy them in the shop and um they're very rare to, to drop and usually need a lot of them when you're constructing a ship next is i think probably a ship component or apt cores again then you have binaries here at the bottom so again the bottom row is going to be your primary uh, your your primary uh, objectives i'm not sure what is this the crate um i assume that it contains very valuable items but from what i see here the binaries are going to be your best bet for this event and this event um the currency would be i think this is a flamingo so you again for the dolphin you won't be able to spend your currency there you're going to spend it here so again this is for the part three summer event so now that you've seen the events in terms of the rewards that you'll be getting you could you know um like for me i i lack um ship parts so i'm actually looking forward to this event as well and also do look forward to the summer skins um we have our part two we have awakened lijisu chifuyu chinatsu elizabeth yumi nine edel so they will be dropping my preference here of course is going to be nanahara chifuyu and also elizabeth um yumina i like her skin but we actually uh, rarely use her except i think for pve but i think her skin is actually worth as well edel skin i'm not really a fan of and um also awakened Li Jisoo could be good so it really boils down to your preference and don't forget guys also dropping on september 29th 
would be um, future at war Janus or Janus. So again, he will be good for your mech teams. Um, I'm actually still thinking if I'm going to pull for Janus, but I'll definitely put out a unit build for him or her. I'm not her. I'm not. I, I don't know if it's him or her. But more or less, I'll be putting out a hero build for you guys, uh, for those who are interested in building Janus for their mech teams. Actually, Janus is actually not only good for mech, but he's also useful in PvE teams. Okay, guys, so that is it for the update for the store. What is in store for us? Part 2 and Part 3. Okay, guys, so if you reach this far in this video... Um, I hope that you consider subscribing and also don't forget to click that bell icon, put a like to this video and take, a, take care guys. Stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.